So this video is all about percentage difference. And I must stress that this is not percentage uncertainty. So hopefully that's clear. Now, in order to work out the percentage difference, what you need is the following equation. So let's give an example to show what we mean. Uh, first of all, we have the experimental value minus the accepted value over the accepted value. So this accepted value is maybe the constant that you're looking for. Uh, sometimes it's called the true value, uh, which again might have been uh, found by uh, various other experiments, uh, or sometimes it's maybe the value that you get from maybe a data book. Um, now an example of this might be perhaps you're measuring the acceleration due to gravity. Now we know that again from the data book that you have in your exams uh, and the figure that you're using all the time, we know that the acceleration due to gravity g might be equal to 9.81 meters per second squared. So this is our accepted value for the gravitational field strength on the Earth's surface. However, you might do an experiment uh, and you might find that uh, you maybe uh, you're letting a ball drop through a couple of plates. It might be that you're using a pendulum to find g. There's loads of different ways of doing it. But you might find that your value of g is equal to 10.35. Now this is not the same, but how close is that to the true value? Well, uh, if your value is 10.35 meters uh, per second squared, then we can look at your percentage difference between your value and the true value. So we put the numbers in. First of all, uh, the experimental value is 10.35. The accepted value is 9.81. So this here is our accepted value. Uh, we divide that by the accepted value of 9.81, and then we just multiply by 100 to give our answer as a percentage. And if we do that, uh, we find that the percentage difference in this case is gonna be equal to 5.50%. So what I've done, I've just uh, given my value to three significant figures, just like uh, sort of the lowest number of significant figures here. So we know that 10.35 is 5%, about 5.5% off what the true value should be. And therefore this maybe gives us an estimation of how accurate our experiment might be. Remember, the closer your value to the true value, uh, the more accurate your experiment. But just to stress once again, this is not uh, uncertainty. This is not about your measured value and how uncertain you are. This is about the percentage difference between your value and the true value.